Yeah, and we're back, and I'm not going to make you watch all of this me walking around looking for stuff, but I'm going to show where everything is that I find anyways, and all the dialogue that's going to come up. I saw a large building in the mountains north of Red Falls. What is it? That's the old sanitarium, Briar Lake. Briar Lake. Scully, you ever hear of a Dr. Aaron Greenberg? Greenberg is a proponent of the link between quantum mechanics and parapsychology. And is said to have moved his research to a facility named Briar Lake. And this voice acting sounds as inspired as ever. I mean, I mean, I mean, seriously, I, I, I think the original Resident Evil dialogue is better. I mean, they got named actors, the people who played their characters to do the voice acting on there. And Duchovny and Anderson just sound so uninterested in doing these or doing the doing the dialogue for this game. It's just sad. <sighs> oh well. It's still a kind of fun game though. Whatever happened in your town of Red Falls, I believe the answers can be found at Briar Lake. You talk like you know a lot of things, Mr. Mulder. You said none of you knew this bunker existed. How did you find it? That man who just left here. John. John Gilnitz. And someone here can vouch for this man? None of us knew him before this. I want you to organize everyone in the shelter and get them evacuated. Now! What? Why? Because this is a trap. Do it! Wow, Mulder, you... Huh. And, and where does he get this whole this is a trap idea from? Where where, where did that come from? I mean, I, I guess if this Gilnitz guy is being all shady, then... You know? That's something. And within the actual TV show, there are three... At least three people named John Gilnitz. I don't know why I remember that, but that name is just pretty memorable. Because I remember when I played this, I was like, Hey, I've heard that name before. Uh, one of them is in a season six episode... Where Mulder and this Air Force guy switch bodies. I saw bodies. the Gilnitz on a note on the sheriff's desk with the initials B.L. next to it. Briar Lake. And he was in Caitlin Winslow's diary. He drugged them, Scully. There, Mulder. John Gilnitz, stay where you are. David Duchovny, voice act better. So there are three clips of handgun ammo and a first aid kit within all this stuff. And night vision goggles, which are going to be very important. Um... There's a John Gilnitz early on. I feel like it's in Pusher, but it may not be. It may be an earlier episode than that, but it's in one of the first three seasons. And there's another one. I think it's in season seven, maybe season six as well, but probably seven since they mention Saddam Hussein's real name is John Gilnitz, and he's just a guy who rattles his saber whenever they need a good distraction. So <laughs> I know way too much about the show. I've seen it many times back in the day. Uh, I will not be buying the Blu-rays, though. Unless I ever decide to upgrade the Blu-ray, then I might. So, the night vision goggles are going to be very important here coming up, and I cut my wandering through the menu, but you'll be able to see me up, uh, grab those. And I apologize if that's way too bright for you. Well, it just is. Alright, I have several questions. I may not be able to get to them. So, go straight, and there is a black line you can kind of follow. There's probably multiple paths, I honestly don't know. But, this one is the right way. Now, I thought I was going to have to cheat on this section. Mother, I did, I actually. But I thought I was going to. Yeah, I'm doing this com uh, commentary in post because... My commentary here would have been quite... Me being quite irritated. Um, I refer to Scully as a stupid Both bitch, a cunt, all sorts of things. It wasn't, it wasn't very pleasant. And why he's not like taking her by the hand, I have no freaking clue. But yeah, yeah, this is unnecessarily annoying. But as you can see, the first ladder is easy enough to find. So we'll just have the one more to get to. And of course it'll be slightly more difficult, but really just only in the path. It's the same thing. There is a timer, but unfortunately the game makers aren't good enough to actually explain what that is to us. So you just kind of have to 
I mean, there's there's no meter that I can see oh, telling you how long you have or anything like that. And I don't even know where we are, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, she's already getting stuck. Oh, was. But yeah, I guess breathing in all this debris after a while just gets to them. So I don't know if you look at the health, if they're slowly dying as this whole process happens or what. Now I've seen a couple of people do this as I was trying to figure out where to go. And they seem to stop for a lot longer fighting zombies than you need to. As you can see the game controls are just broken right here. He's trying to shoot this down zombie when he should be shooting the ones over here so we can fucking go. While that other one he's standing over by could have just stayed on the ground. And by the time he got up, we could hopefully be gone. This is the only section I can think of I really get stuck fighting them. And... God damn it, Scully. Take care of yourself for once. Shit. So, um... The main focus here is you need to keep going. Keep moving. I know it's easier said than done because I did this, obviously. Well, I did this yesterday. Or the day before. No, it was yesterday. I was pissed off at the Astros game. Boulder, yeah. I need help. Six to two lead going into the eighth inning, and their relievers decide they don't want to get anybody out. Fucking assholes. In a playoff game that would have given them the series win. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, just kind of keep going this way. I, I actually pass up the ladder few times I think but yeah my commentary would not have been pleasant hopefully next video will be back to live commentary I kind of think I'm gonna like the next area from what little bit we're gonna see of it in this video so hopefully see the ladders right there Boulder? bitch get off her jerk well fuck her. I gotta find the ladder And, and, and she's still being a twat, even though we're in the cutscene to leave this area. Mulder? I mean, seriously. I don't blame the character. Like, the character Scully I like just fine. But, um, not so much in this game, but, you know, in the show. But, yeah. Oh, I will be going with the night vision goggles throughout this building. If you hate it, I apologize. There's a save point. Use it now. Trust me. Just use it. Scully, this cable car, it leads right up to Briar Lake. Mulder, all those people. We have to find out why this is happening, Scully. I know Gilnitz is up there. He has to answer. <laughs> and as soon as we do that, I guess all those zombies from the underground where we were Mulder, are coming. now coming over here. So we need to go pick that up. Um, I apologize if this is bothersome. <laughs> I found this area kind of dark, like a lot of this game, and so I just went night vision goggles, which I will probably be doing a few times in this game. So, if this bothers anyone, I mean, nicely let me know, so that I'll tr know to try not to do it. But, otherwise, that is to help you solve a puzzle later on. I'm not actually going to use it. So, before we do anything else, we got to use that item we picked up. And you can kind of see what I'm going to do here. We're going to use it on this thing. And then it's going to give us a switch. We press that. And then we're going to go press another switch. We're going to come back and press that switch. It's a whole switch pulling thing. At least it's not that annoying ass thing in Blood Omen 2. Which is a game I refuse to play. Although parts of it actually look fun. <laughs> Mulder with his night vision goggles looks funny to me. And conveniently now Scully will show up. And I saved there again just because zombies were still coming through. What was that? My God, Gilnet said this. <laughs> the dialogue is so rushed and unenthusiastic. Um, 472, I believe is the code, or 427. 427 is the code. That was fun. I think the fun is just beginning, Scully. And for some reason, after we get past that point, the game unequips everything. So, be sure to equip your stuff. First time I did this, I got my ass torn up by a dog. Fortunately, they will give you um, save a save option, so definitely use that. Because otherwise it's going to be annoying. Yeah, that section with the bomb, there was no sense of urgency. Nor was there any sense of urgency when you were trying to do that puzzle when zombies are kind of coming running around there. I mean, you think 
I don't know. I, I expected more. I don't know. You recognize something? Datura. It's a poisonous species, but it's been used to counteract toxins like... Like the poison secreted in the pufferfish, a Japanese delicacy. Yes, tetrodotoxin. We've encountered this before, Scully. Tetrodotoxin is an ingredient found in powders used by Haitian witch doctors in the zombification process. The zombification process? You're making the leap from cataleptic paralysis to Haitian zombieism? After what we've seen, I don't think the leap is that far, Scully. Mwahaha! That's referencing a season two episode. I believe where there was like some Haitian camp and military was like holding them and that sounded really smart of me didn't it ah god I'm smart I can say words anyways um yeah there was like it was like a military run Haitian like camp where they're trying to get citizenship or something like that and there's yeah I won't spoil the whole thing but yeah there's a zombie thing to it. It's not like this. It's not like Resident Evil or anything like that. Uh, it's not like a zombie outbreak, but there is kind of reference to zombification. And funny because they mention a doctor, Wade Davis, I think his name is, or maybe it wasn't a doctor. I don't know if he was a doctor or a researcher or who he was. But I remember a professor for one of the classes I took in college on rituals and religion and stuff like that. Total elective, but there was totally this hot chick I wanted to hook up with in that class but unfortunately i could only i couldn't get a chance to talk to her without her less than attractive friend who was nice enough but not really not really that enjoyable of a person i mean she was okay like she's probably fun to hang out with i guess but i don't know i didn't really like her that much especially since i wanted to talk to the hot girl and i also found out that hot girl liked pantera which well, she was a winner in my book for that but um, yeah, that professor for that class, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked thinking of attractive women. I don't see them much anymore at my job. Actually, I don't see them at all at my job. Something else. Uh, but he said that guy Wade Davis was like a fraud or this and that. I don't know if he's true or telling the truth or not, but I'm guessing he believes it since he's teaching it. I don't know. I, I just thought that was kind of interesting. As opposed to my backwards way of telling that story. Not even backwards, but random way of telling it. What was that? Mulder, are you all right? I'm fine, Scully. Dr. Greenberg, the eminent parapsychologist. I think we're moving closer to the source of the illness. I don't know why that shut off so quickly, if that's just how the cutscene is. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in Scully's game with cutscenes we've already seen, but that one I'll definitely leave intact and not talk over. Gilnitz, John V, listed in the personal records under something called Project Resonance, and so is Henry Dawson, the Red Falls doctor. Yeah, when someone bites me, I remember them. Is Frank Hawthorne there? The first murder suspect? Yes, he's here. Briar Lake is the hot zone, and Frank Hawthorne was patient zero. His accidental death released whatever it was that was incubating inside him. Are you saying they manufactured the virus here? At a facility you believe is dedicated to parapsychology. For what purpose? I don't know. Is there any data on Caitlin or Mandy Winslow? I can't get into patient files. I need a security password. See what you can find, Scully. I'm going to take a look around. Look around for what? Gilnitz and Greenberg are here somewhere. They have to answer for what they've done. Mulder, badass! He wields his gun way more in this game than he does in every episode of the show combined. I make fun of this game. I am actually enjoying it. It's just, you make fun of the things you love, I guess. And I do love this show. I'm in the middle of a rewatch. I'm in season five now. So, yeah. Just kind of doing a rewatch. It's been a long time since I've rewatched the show. So it's kind of fun doing that. But yeah, so that Haitian thing, there's like some zombies and whatnot so that's kind of what that's referencing back here is a handgun clip i will eventually find and eventually i'm going to actually show how much i've got saved up to we actually got a lot of handgun ammo now but you kind of get that when you cheat the one boss fight y'all see me fought it legit and activate this to get in but yeah i went and cheat fought it again just so i wouldn't use all my health items it was really the health items not the ammo that i was worried about so, yeah, I really wish, 
uh, there was a girl I talked to in that class, and she even and she even knew. Like she was like, "Man, I, you really should get to know that hot girl." But too bad you can can't really get to talk to her because her friend's always interrupting you. I, I kind of thought the friend had a thing for me. You know, again, I'm not saying the friend was a bad person or anything like that. Just, you know, I wanted the other girl, and I don't know the less than attractive one. She wasn't like actually ugly, but the one that I didn't really find too attractive. I think she might have been into, like, drugs and stuff like that, too. And I'm not down with that. I mean, I don't care if other people do drugs, but, you know, I, you know, like, like, the hot girl, like, I, like I said, she was into Pantera. That's already, a, that's already something in her favor. I would have considered dating her. Like, not just a hookup. Ah, <sighs> why am I whining about something that happened over ten years ago? Do people. You, you reminded me of it, damn it. Okay, you didn't. You didn't. Don't stop watching, because nobody will watch this video if my one viewer doesn't watch. <sighs> I am actually sober right now. A little tired, but sober. So, I don't know what's wrong with me there. So you missed me after I picked up the map. I got lost, kind of running around and um, all this stuff. Just kind of looking, and I am sparing y'all having to see that. However, I am going to show y'all at some point another Easter egg from the show. Right now, I am looking for a security card. I can't tell if I found it. I don't think I found it yet. But we need a security card in order to do things. And we like to do things because doing things helps us progress and eventually beat the game and, you know, stuff. So, yeah, I, out of the three episodes of this game, and there's the security card there. Um, this is easily my favorite. It just reminds me of Resident Evil meets a little bit of Silent Hill. It's, I don't know, I think the story's a little better told. I, I don't like Moeller's episode 2. I haven't played Scully's game at all, so I don't know. Oh, that right there. That's from the show. Uh, season 7 premiere. There's a test they're trying to do on Moeller. To, I, I don't know, I won't. I'll just say there's a test they're trying to do on Mulder, and I will leave it at that. It's Skinner and somebody else from a previous episode that could be kind of forgettable, I guess. I didn't really recognize that it was that same guy for quite a while until I'd seen the episode a couple of times. I'm not as well-versed in Season 7 onward. I didn't really like the last three years or so of the show that much. I mean, there were episodes I liked, but... Yeah, the last three seasons... Uh, I mean, if you just look at Mold, uh, Duchovny's acting in Season 7. Yeah, here's where I'm just showing the bullets over 107. Or, I mean, over 170. I mean, even just Duchovny's acting in a lot of Season 7. He sounded bored and still better than he does on this game, but... Yeah, I don't know. And then I didn't really like The X-Files without either Mulder or Scully. Well, without Mulder, as it turns out, but... I, I don't know. I mean, there, there were some there were some good episodes in each of those seasons. Unlike a lot of people, I enjoyed the Millennium crossover, but, you know. I, I accepted it for what it was, though. I didn't expect it to have this big tie-in with the Millennium story that they had told for three seasons. So I was able to accept it for what it was and enjoy it. I think a lot of people didn't. And that actually had zombies, too. And here I'm trying to find the door and failing before realizing, oh, hey, it's over here. All right, now we need to access a computer. We'll do that momentarily. Come on, I know you're there. State your name and business. Guys, it's Mulder. Who? Spooky, come on, I don't have a lot of time. Hey, Mulder, what can we do you for? Mulder? Is the lovely Agent Scully with you this evening? Just assure me that you're all wearing pants. Agent Mulder. Where are you calling from? Yaris, security countermeasures are going ballistic. I'm at a secret research facility called Briar Lake. I want to know if you can hack into this computer and find me a code for the security system. On it, Briar Lake. We published a report in our lone gunman newspaper that they received a large financial subsidy from an anonymous donor. We want first dibs on this story for helping you, Mulder. Quid pro quo, Clarice. The interface is tricky. <laughs> for normal mortals. Here you go. Thanks, boys. Your kung fu is the best. I'll be in touch. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Be safe, Agent Mulder. Yeah. Hasta la vista, baby. Their acting's not so bad. Very rushed. It's like they basically said, here, you have 
30 seconds of cutscene. Fit as much dialogue into there as possible. But if you missed that code, there it is. You can go to the, your notes. You just hit down on the arrow key. Or, yeah, the D-pad. You just hit down on that. It brings you to your latest note. So, here I'm still trying to read it. That's why I'm, I have it up here so long. But, yeah, that's... I was hoping that was going to be there. And thankfully it was. Because I wasn't going to remember that code. Or you could just wait and watch me punch it in here. I mean, if you're watching this, chances are you're either watching this for the story, my lovely sexy commentary, which we know that's not the case, or you're looking for help on the game. I think I'm doing a not incredibly terrible job so far. So we actually need to go to the elevator, but I'm going to end the video with the save room. So thank you all very much for watching. I really wish I had hooked up with that girl, and I'll see you all next time.